So hello everybody, I'm Marianne and uh, we'll talk to you about uh, AngularJS and I will uh, try to explain it to you in a way um, um, that is really easy because when I started to use it uh, I was not a programmer actually. Um, when I started uh, using AngularJS I only knew this, so uh, Photoshop, InDesign and all the tools for uh, uh, of a web designer, HTML, CSS, uh, a lot of less also. Um, and uh, my uh, knowledge in programming were, were uh, only jQuery, so a little bit of JavaScript, that, but um, a lot of jQuery and uh, I was using a lot of plugins, so it was the whole, uh, it was using things that, are, that were already existing and not really programming. Uh, so yes, I had a little bit of uh, JavaScript knowledge, but uh, um, what I will um, show you now is uh, how to uh, learn it from learning from uh, really uh, uh, zero. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> so today I'm a junior front-end developer, and I'm using I'm using so Angular JS uh, every day. Uh, it's my main tool, and I'm uh, developing a web uh, a mobile app. Um, um, so uh, I had to um, learn all this new uh, vocabulary I never heard about uh, before, so like OOP, uh, MVC, uh, uh, this um, <coughs> module directive classes, um, prototypes, uh, this, uh, yeah, all these new words that were completely um, stran uh, strange to me. So, what is Angular? Uh, Angular is a JavaScript framework. Uh, maybe you heard of Ember.js or Backbone.js. There are also uh, other JavaScript framework uh, really popular, but um, um, Angular is um, its particularity is that is based on the MVC framework. Oh, MVC pattern, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and this will allow you to build be really well structured uh, browser side application. Um, and it's created by Google, so you had you have a lot of documentation. Uh, a lot of um, actually, the documentation itself it's a little bit crappy, but <laughs> you have a lot of uh, <laughs> a big community uh, around uh, Angular that will um, help you to to deal with your problems. So I want to talk about a little bit of MSC patterns because uh, I didn't know what it was at all when I started, and uh, I will uh, talk about it in a uh, JavaScript point of view. Um, so please, C programmer, don't uh, shoot at me. Um, this uh, stands for Model View Controller. Um, when you realize an app, you need, uh, you have a data. Oh, sorry. So your data is your model. Uh, so in JavaScript, uh, um, a data object can be a string, a JSON file, an API, uh, a lot of things. Um, and then you have your view. So your view is your HTML file. Uh, inside your view, um, you will display your data. And uh, in, uh, and then you have your controller. It's the link between the, t the two. It will allow you to... Um, uh, it's your program. Uh, it's what, um, yeah. It's what allow your <laughs> data to display uh, to be displayed in the view. Explain it really easily. So, I have an example in pure JavaScript. So, for example, uh, my model here is a string. So, um, I choose a string. It's the basic uh, kind of model we can find. Then, in your view, you have a title and a, bon a button uh, to click and uh, on to click on it and when we, you will click uh, on the button your controller uh, will tell uh, your view to change and to take the <coughs> to take the new string and to replace it so it's really basic stuff and uh, <coughs> uh, it's the basic well <laughs> i don't have anything to say uh, <laughs> 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 sorry uh, then so as to Angular, uh, in Angular, uh, its particularity is that the view and the model are um, are updating instantly. So, um, for example, here I am um, uh, putting a string into this input file, 
and the view will update instantly. So this is the particularity of Angular. It's uh, it's uh, uh, is way of binding uh, and both way uh, data binding between the view and uh, the model. Okay. And to do that, we only uh, we only need uh, sorry we only need two lines. So the, in in your view in your HTML, you have uh, the input uh, field with uh, this ng model that link to uh, the, the, the view. Um, so the curly brackets will call the ng model attributes, and this, uh, this is the way you link uh, the two values. <coughs> so where do we start when you want to create your own API? Yeah, you only need one file. So you don't know uh, the file uh, AngularJS on the website. Then you call it in your in the head of your of your of your uh, index um, .html. Then you initialize uh, your API your app sorry um, by uh, calling here the ng app attribute, and this is it. You have uh, your uh, first app running. And then you have to create your all the other files. It's uh, your job to create the index.html, of course, and all the controllers and uh, all the views you will need, the so the template that will be called, uh, the CSS. Uh, there's nothing else to download. It's, uh, it's uh, all your uh, work to, it's um, all you're doing. Um, sorry, I'll start again. Um, you have to create all the rest. Because uh, it's a question I asked myself when I started, because a lot of framework uh, came with a, a big uh, folder of, uh, of information, of, um, of files, and with Angular, we had nothing. I just had this file, and I, I didn't know what to do with, uh, with this, uh, and because I was really started from zero, so. Uh, and then I realized I had to create everything, so that's why I precise here what you have, you have to do. So how does Angular work? Well, there's two, two really strong concepts uh, to understand the dollar scope and the directives. Well, there are other, a lot of other concepts, uh, but I will just explain these two to you. So the scope in JavaScript. Well, the scope is where the variable and the functions, the variables and the functions are accessible. And in one, um, and in, sorry. <laughs> I will just uh, explain my example. I like examples. Um, okay. Uh, well, maybe I speak too fast, and uh, please uh, interrupt me if uh, you have any questions. Um, so, uh, the scope. It's where variables and functions uh, are accessible, and it's a context. Uh, in which you can uh, execute them. Uh, for example, uh, in my JavaScript, I have this uh, variable that is declared in the root, at the root of uh, the, the, the script. So uh, this variable is global. But this variable L is uh, declared inside the function. That means that you, you will only access it inside the function, so inside the scope read. So, wait. Um, so if I, I don't know if that work. So in my example, we I alerted uh, the local uh, variable um, on load, and this variable uh, cre creates an error, as you can see. So yeah, this alert um, creates an error because uh, the elf variable is not uh, um, is not global. So this is the the idea of scope uh, in JavaScript. So now, dollar scope. Well, dollar scope is the same idea. That means that it's a context uh, be uh, between the view and the and the controller, but it's here. It's an object uh, that uh, communicates between your view and your controller. So, how to use scope, dollar scope? Well, first, in your in your view, you have to uh, define here your um, 
ng attribute, ng controller attribute, and uh, define the controller uh, on this div. And everything that will be inside this div will be the scope uh, matching the function example to a controller uh, in your controller uh, JavaScript. Fine. <laughs> Um, so dollar scope only uh, the dollar scope inside uh, this function only will only access the the, the um, scope uh, inside this uh, div. So here I I, <coughs> I chose I chose to uh, use the same name uh, with the two controllers. Um, so uh, dollar scope say hello, and uh, I have two different controllers and two different um, um, values uh, to this property say hello. And the result is in my controller A uh, uh, and my controller B, the results are different. There's no conflicts. Uh, the scopes are, re are separated. <coughs> so directives. Um, so directives are the cool way, and this is the coolest things in Angular, uh, it's the cool way of uh, learning HTML to do things. And it's the thing with, uh, with you will uh, play uh, a lot. Um, so there's two kinds of uh, directives. The, one, the ones Angular uh, provides and the ones you can create yourself. So uh, don't try to create your directive uh, right now. Uh, you can, <laughs> uh, I, I, I've, I've been using uh, Angular for three months and I started create, creating, uh, I started to create my own directives uh, two weeks ago. I didn't need uh, to create my di own directi directives before. Um, uh, but it's really funny now that I know how to do it and uh, to learn how to do it to to do it. <laughs> so, how do they how do they look like? Well, actually, you already uh, saw uh, some of them. So the ng app, the ng controller are uh, di directives. Everything that starts with ng uh, is uh, um, ng uh, dash is a directive uh, created by. Um, that Angular provide. And the slideshow uh, tag is also a directive, so you can uh, create a directive that looks that look like uh, an element or um, a class at, um, or a class or uh, even a comment, I think. But I really never used this kind of, uh, I mean, I never used them. I never had to use them uh, uh, for now, uh, the ones I create usually are um, attributes or elements. What? So, my favorite uh, directives are, of course, the ng app and ng controller because I have to use them uh, to assign the behavior of uh, my scopes, like I explained. Then, the ng model that I uh, already talked about. Um, when I explain really quickly uh, that when I write my name uh, in the input field, uh, <laughs> I um, tell Angular to do, uh, well, the ng model tells Angular to do both ways that are binding. Uh, that's the, that's uh, also a directive. So ng hide, ng show uh, are attributes you can put on elements and uh, with, uh, with an expression inside the attributes, it will, um, that um, will be true or false the element will be hidden or will be uh, displayed. So this is really cool and actually it's really easy. I mean, when I, I, I used it for the first time, I was uh, really amazed that uh, you could do a thing that, uh, uh, that asks you a lot of lines, uh, even in, in jQuery, uh, to display or, or, or just uh, hide an element, uh, trying to say, well, if something uh, is bigger, and that uh, display it or hide it. And here, it's just an attribute with an expression in it. Then uh, my other uh, favorite um, directive is ng-repeat. When you have an array of items, uh, you uh, can repeat your, um, your items. Um, I will just uh, show the example, it will be easier. Here, I have a list of, uh, of pilots, and uh, this list, I didn't write it 
uh, all uh, by uh, by myself. I just used uh, one attri attribute here. Oop. Well, I tried to select it. Um, ng repeat, and I call um, my uh, my array of pilots. And uh, so pilots, it's pilots is actually uh, an existing um, uh, object. Uh, array, but um, pilot is uh, the the item that will be created uh, each uh, to each um, uh, to each element in the in the array. So um, so this is the really cool part of uh, Angular because uh, I have to deal with an API uh, all day and uh, with a lot a lot a lot of object and array. And uh, I use this, um, this ng repeat all the time. This is uh, so easy. <coughs> and uh, then my uh, last example, it's a little bit uh, more complex. It's a uh, um, uh, calculator with ng hide, ng show, and uh, ng model. So here, if you have, if you Yay! So how does that work? So I initialize in my controller the value of zero because if I don't do that, uh, my inputs are uh, empty and my value is 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 equal null. Uh, in the here, um, you can imagine uh, there's nothing in the input and uh, and uh, yeah, the result is null. So I initialize the value of um, of the input to zero. Then um, <coughs> in my uh, view, uh, I will um, I will do all the the calculation inside the view. I don't need I don't even need uh, uh, to program something uh, in the controller and to say well um <coughs> um, yeah I have to, I, I can do everything inside the HTML. So as I explained earlier the here I have my two uh, div elements uh, with the ng show ng sh ng hide uh, attrib um, directives, and uh, they will only uh, be displayed if the so one will be uh, displayed. Uh, they will be displayed if they are true. So this ng show will be displayed if uh, val one uh, um, you say time time uh, val val two um, greater than t than ten. Uh, and the other one will just hide if uh, it's greater than 10. So... No. So, this is it. Uh, that was a really uh, short introduction to <laughs> to AngularJS. Um, th this is uh, my favorite website to uh, looking for more information. And uh, uh, ac actually, there's um, a pretty pretty cool uh, website here uh, that ex that uh, gives you a little um, a lot of example, a lot of really simple examples uh, that uh, makes you train with a lot of directives. Um, then, <coughs> well, this is this one actually. And uh, to do MVC is a website also uh, that um, allows you to create a to-do list in Angular and in pure JavaScript and in uh, jQuery and and with every uh, frame, uh, JavaScript framework. Uh, it's a website that um, um, makes you. It's to allow you to decide which uh, framework you want to use. They made the exact same uh, 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 app with a lot of uh, different tools. So that's uh, really nice to start uh, using Angular because uh, it's a really simple example too. So I will just uh, talk uh, briefly about our AngularJS uh, group in Berlin. Uh, if you want to uh, join the AngularJS group, uh, we are uh, really few right now. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we have a lot of uh, really uh, interesting di discussion and the uh, next meeting is this Wednesday. So so thank you and um, well, <laughs> have fun with AngularJS. <laughs>
will use it to create a, a website and also apps, for, I mean, uh, real uh, native uh, apps? Um, well, you can't use it to use to make native uh, apps. But I, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, pro uh, developing a mobile application for iPhone. And I'm using PhoneGap to embed this application uh, in the in Xcode. You said you make a mobile website. So is it the, the AngularJS? How, how does it perform on mobile? Uh, right now, pretty good. It's uh, uh it's uh, fast, and it's uh, not uh, actually the problems come comes from phone gap, um, but <laughs> uh, on the um, yeah I'd, uh, we only tried with phone gap. We didn't try uh, the the on the browser. We didn't try it on the browser, but um, but it's really fast. On the Yes. How does it work together from that and your JS? What's your experience? Um, there's a well. You, you are you using PhoneGap? You know how. It works? Yes. Well, it's your 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 Angular application is just a, a index with uh, with your as I show here. Oh. So my own application is the is the. Uh, the same kind of uh, folder and, and um, organization. So I just uh, copy this and put it on the www file uh, folder of um, PhoneGap, and this is working like this. It's the the cool thing about PhoneGap is that uh, it does everything for you. <laughs> and does it provide a way to access um, like the local storage of PhoneGap or the HTML5 environment, or is there no native way to do it? Like Referencing or connecting the model with the local storage. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, this is a question that uh, we didn't uh, uh, talk talk about yet. Uh, and I'm working with a backend developer, and uh, and um, this uh, kind of big question they. Yeah. I think there's a way to provide some sort of a data provider. So you define data providers and they will be like your lower layers. And I suppose it's, it just comes to whatever PhoneGap does. Right? It's just JavaScript you yeah. do whatever you want. PhoneGap has a, like a hook for that and it will work. <laughs> but um, may you pick uh, Angular and not other frameworks? Uh, because my boss did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best reason. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't have a choice, but uh, actually he, he gave me one day to try Ember, and uh, it was so confusing uh, using uh, Angular for three months and suddenly using Ember. I didn't get anything about Ember, and I, I probably should. If if I had one week or even more, uh, maybe it would be uh, more useful. But in one one day, it was not enough. Uh, have you tried uh, Bitcoin? No. Okay. No, I didn't try the other ones. Uh, okay. Well, except September, but very quickly. And because I I have, I have the opposite from you. My boss does not like Angular, so he wanted to use Bitcoin, and he said that. He the Angular is too hard to get in. Hmm. Is there any good tutorial to get started? I don't know. I think, uh, well, f for me, that they didn't know anything about uh, about uh, JavaScript framework or uh, programming. It was not uh, that complicated. Uh, I, I think Ember is uh, is uh, more complicated. The the and the, the um, how do you call that? The way the syntax. Of everything in Ember is really complicated. Um, the way of uh, writing in Angular, um, sure, you have to get used to it. But um, uh, well, for me, in in, in uh, two weeks after uh, starting using it, uh, I could display uh, a lot of information of, from the API and 
uh, I, I could uh, make button works and uh, change, change views and um, so it was um, yeah I think it's a, it's a, a really cool tool um, and um, well yeah I, I like to use it at the end, in the end cool thanks Maya. Thank you.